Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on art therapy. My name is Lauren Fallett and I work for Holistic Health Counseling Center. For today's video we're going to be focusing on the symbol of the doorway and how we can use that in art uh, to represent parts of ourselves and to express different thoughts and feelings we might be having. So to begin thinking about doorways and their symbolic uh, representation to each one of us. I really want you to think about how we encounter doorways in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, so from when we wake up we're often leaving and entering different rooms perhaps, uh, going inside or outside. Doorways are often these spaces that we cross over, often called the threshold. Um, so it, it allows us to demarcate one space from another. Um, and we can think of that as inside and outside, leaving and entering, um, but there is sort of a beginning and ending before and after uh, leaving and entering into another space. Um, and that really is the function of a doorway. It allows us to say, this is one space, this is another, and there's some form of separation. And that separation can be completely closed, almost like a wall. Um, it could be left open, right? So it, it can almost be like a, an archway. Uh, but the, the difference with a door is that it can be opened or closed. And there's ways of doing that, right? So there are keys, locks, and there's a, a control to a door when we think of it as a boundary, right? In our own lives, think about who holds the key to different decisions that we make. To different opportunities that we might have, right? So doors are often reflective of aspects of our lives, especially when we're thinking about decisions and what we want to do, where we're going, um, and what we're moving towards. That door, right? That door to a new opportunity, or maybe we have multiple doorways in our lives right now, right? And trying to decide which door am I going towards? Which ones am I leaving behind or not opening? Uh, which ones are am I leaving closed? So you may be wondering, uh, what is the significance of a doorway? How does it relate to art therapy? Well, in art therapy, we're often working with different imagery and symbols. Symbols are often representative of uh, feelings, thoughts, uh, experiences that we've had. They often can bring up different emotions uh, than if we're talking about something directly. Uh, so in today's video post, we're really going to explore the symbolism behind doorways, what they can represent for us, uh, and how we might use them to talk about difficult experiences we've had, things we're thinking about in terms of our future, our past, or even right now. So hopefully our minds are starting to get warmed up and, and thinking about how doorways can really reflect our own experiences, um, inner experiences. And so I wanted to show you some images to continue that, that journey, that inspiration. Um, often in an art therapy group, I will present images along with quotes and I'm gonna share them here with you. Um, and these images I've collected off of the internet, just stock photos from Google. I also wanted to share that I have this book by Katherine Anderson. Um, she created this based on her introduction um, for individuals who are engaging in soul collage artwork. And you can look that up um, on the internet. So there's different images here of doorways and um, they're quite beautiful. They're from all around the world. Um, she mentions they're from India, France, Italy, Mexico, Africa, Ireland, and America. So this is called Doorways and Openings, a collection of photo photographic images to cut out and use in personal art. So I have photocopied images from here and ones that I've collected off the internet. So here I'll just show you a few doorways that I've collected and I've added um, little elements to on the inside. And often I will put these out on the table if I'm in a group uh, and allow people to choose ones that they're really drawn towards. 
And as I'm showing these to you now, um, you can see that they all have different shapes to them, different colors. They're in different environments, right? Some of them are more intricate. Some of them are a little bit more um, artistic, modern, abstract. Some of them definitely seem more protective and, and secure. This one reminded me of a, a secret garden. So as you can see, I, I sort of mounted these on a piece of paper and I actually cut out the printed doorway here. Um, and this again is just for inspiration. So I'll show you a few more images that I have here just to kind of show you doorways from around the world and let your imagination sort of run in deciding, oh wow, what could be behind that door? What could that door represent about my own life? Okay, so this is a circular door here and this last one. So after I've placed all of the images on the table, often I'll invite people to pick up a doorway that um, they're drawn towards. And I'll align um, on the table um, quotes. So I'll also invite individuals to choose a quote that they connect with. So just to share a few that I have here, the doors we open and close each day decide the lives we live. Every doorway, every intersection has a story. And every exit is an entrance to somewhere else. So when I myself have done this uh, art directive, or if I've presented this to a group, I'll often encourage people to really take time to reflect on um, their own connection to this symbol. Uh, meaning thinking about where we are in our lives in the moment. Um, you know, uh, are we at a point where we're trying to make a decision about what to leave behind, what to move forward with? Do we have goals? Um, perhaps there's a sense of privacy in our lives. Is there something that we're holding on to or protecting? Um, or is there a part of ourselves that we're wanting to open up and share? Um, so really going along with not o only the visual look of the door, but its uh, representation and functionality, right? It's something that can open and close. What am I trying to open up to in my life? What am I trying to close uh, or contain? Am I needing a sense of safety in my life? Um, or is there curiosity? Perhaps there's a few doorways in front of me and um, wanting to see what each one holds behind it, you know? Um, Perhaps it's hopes for myself. Perhaps it's goals that I have, fears, um, things that I haven't thought about in a while from my past. Uh, so these are all elements that can be brought into a session um, when working with doorways. Really, there's no limit on, on what you can do with this. Uh, and also thinking about, is this a door that you want to open? Right? Is this one that has cobwebs and, and vines and a door that has not been opened in a long time and, and one that you're trying to keep shut? Or is it one that you, you do want to explore? Is it inviting? Right? And if we think of ourselves as a door, what would that look like? Are we a person that does stand out and, and draws attention? Would it be bright? Or are we someone that sort of likes to blend in or go with convention? Um, is our door safe? Does it have a lock on it? Is it open uh, or welcoming, right? So there's different ways that we can uh, draw inspiration from the symbol and connect it with our own lived experience. And I've incorporated doorways into a lot of my artwork um, and it's a pretty profound experience to see the doorway shift and change and move around uh, in your own artwork. So if you're interested in creating your own doorway or would like to engage in an art therapy session yourself um, working with this symbol, I would definitely encourage it um, and maybe provide a few uh, questions to reflect on. 
um, when you think about this doorway. Often I'll, I'll guide individuals um, on a journey, sort of having you close your eyes or looking down at the table uh, and imagining yourself coming upon a doorway and thinking, where are you? Um, what's in the environment? Not only just looking at the door, um, but what are you experiencing through your senses as you approach this doorway? Are you on a road? Are you in the woods? Is this in the country? Is it in a city? Um, is it near water? Is it in the forest, right? Um, really thinking about the location. Um, and then really as imagining yourself getting closer and closer to the door and paying attention to how you feel. What does it feel like to approach this imaginary doorway in your mind? Um, is it exciting? Are you curious? Uh, is there a sense of fear based on the environment or how the door looks itself? Is it inviting and welcoming or is it a door that maybe uh, says don't open this, right? And these are all elements coming from our imagination but also telling us where we are uh, on an emotional level even before we get started in drawing. And then you can really continue on in developing this narrative. Um, what are the colors, right? How does it feel? Is it rough? Are there splinters? Is it modern, new? Um, does it feel industrial? Um, or does it feel a little bit more aged um, and distressed? So really think about describing, right? If, if you're brainstorming or writing down ideas, uh, going into those descriptives, uh, what would you say about your door? And you can do this before and even after once, you know, if you want to just go into it, put out what door you have in your mind, and then go back and really describe in detail what you're seeing. Not judging the door, uh, but really putting to words what it is, what is it that you see, what elements, um, and, and thinking what, what is this door holding? inside? Is it hiding anything? Is it containing, keeping safe, protecting? Is it a door that anyone can open? Do you have the key? Um, is it accessible? Uh, and allow this to, to take you on whatever journey you're, you're needing in the moment. I hope this is helpful to you. As I'm talking about the symbolism of the doorway and what it can represent. I'm also thinking that from a therapeutic standpoint, what's really important is when we're describing a doorway um, as looking distressed or looking, um, you know, uh, smooth or, um, you know, shiny and new or attention, um, drawing attention, uh, really, really noticing how we feel when we're describing it? Like, is it something that makes us feel warm and invited in? Is it something that uh, keeps us at bay um, or, or separates us? Does it bring up fear? Like, oh, this door looks uh, too ornate, uh, too regal. I don't know if I can go near it. Um, that's a big element here as well as not only looking at the door and using our creativity to make this image, but noticing the feelings that come up when uh, we encounter a certain type of door. Um, is it scary, right? Is it sad if it's been abandoned or left to decay? Is it inspiring with all the different layers? Um, I remember traveling to India and really finding uh, a sense of awe uh, at the aged archways and doorways. Um, it's, it's like each of these doorways has lived a life um, and continues to hold purpose um, and function, uh, but also there's a curiosity in the life that a door has had, just like we all have as people a history. Um, when we can see layers of paint peeling, we are drawn to this idea of a, um, an object or human's history the layers that we all have. So really allowing yourself to take it to that next level um, and finding meaning in this process for yourself and in the emotions that you experience. I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding how the symbol of the doorway could be used in a therapeutic way. Um, my goal for the next video is to actually create a doorway um, 
on video to see my process and show you how I work with this image in my own artwork. Um, so that will be the part two to this video. Again, my name is Lauren Fallett. I work for Holistic Health Counseling Center. You can go ahead and check out our website, holistichealthcounselingcenter.com and also arttherapynj.com. Thank you so much for watching.